Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. You might be thinking to yourself, we've already seen this figure, why are you reviewing it again? And we have seen it, but not this version. This is the MS-09RS Rickdom Char's Custom Model Version Anime Real Marking. So this is the same figure as the Char's Rickdom we saw before but the real marking version this time. It was released for Tamashii Nation's Tokyo 2022 and was an online exclusive that was sold through a lottery system. So immediately upon release was very expensive to uh, people overseas that didn't have access to that initial launch of the figure. Um, because of that, it fetched inflated prices immediately and... Uh, which I'll go over at the end of the review how much I ended up paying for it. And if they don't re-release it in some other way, it's going to keep going up in price. So, definitely something worth um, picking up sooner than later if this is something that you want. It is a cool looking figure. I like the original. And uh, I'm sure I'll like this one. There is an accessory difference to this figure as well from the original release which we'll take a look at when we cover the accessories so let's go ahead and look at Char's Rickdom again. So there are some minor sculpt differences uh, most notably in the wrists and the uh, knees here which can which can move uh, and that's because this is based on the Rickdom sculpt but we'll talk more about that in the comparison <laughs> Uh, what I want to focus on here is the paint. Now, if you're wondering why Char has a Rickdom, you want some history on that, check out the Char's Rickdom original release review linked in the description below. Uh, this one, I'm mainly going to go through just the way it looks, and if you want to check out all the other cool stuff, check out that review. So, you can see here they use a darker red, uh, not quite as dark as Char's Zaku real, real marking version, but... Um, Definitely darkened everything up. Scattering Mega Particle Gun is darkened as well. The head and mono eye are darkened. The red here, to uh, it's a little bit darker than the body. This is more the color of Char's Zaku real marking. This uh, insignia here was on the original release, but you can see all this white lining going all through here. That is all new, and of course, all these little markings that are all over the body. So you can see we have the A12 symbol on the chest. We also get it on the legs there and the elbows. There's uh, quite a few markings on the legs. They didn't paint any of the thrusters in, which is unfortunate, but also expected. You have markings on the, uh, on the wrists here and on the skirt armor. Moving back around to the front, you have some on the cockpit door and uh, on the shoulders, the front skirt armor, side skirt armor, and the legs. So everything looks really good. It's not overdone. Um, looks nice. I like the colors. I actually like them better than the original. And uh, I really love these real marking figures. So it uh, looks really, really cool. I like it. It's done well. So let's take a look at the accessories because there's there's some new stuff here. So while the original Char's Rick Dom release mirrored that of the Dom, this Char's Rick Dom release mirrors the Rick Dom. So one of the big differences here is that you get a full set of hands. You have heat saber hands, you have gun hands, and then two different sets of posing hands. The original Char's Rickdom uh, only had a select few hands, which is quite nice because the Rickdom got all the good stuff. The giant bazooka here is uh, unchanged aside from the darker paint job. You have a dark glossy camera there. So everything looks good here. You have the um, opened uh, rear door for the uh, giant bazooka. You have the uh, heat saber connection for the back, and then the heat saber is again where 
things get different. This time you have a gold blade instead of a yellow blade and it is removable and like the Rick Dom and unlike the Dom you have an active blade finally which was one of my complaints with Char's Rick Dom and the standard Dom. And then finally here we have the Beam Bazooka which is now in a really nice two-tone color. You have the markings on either side. You have the uh, dual glossy cameras here. If it'll pick it up, there we go. Which looks really nice and you have this uh, kind of dark metallic gray coloring in the middle there. So very, very, very nice looking. Way better accessory list than the original Shars Rick Dump. So we have the real marking Shars Rick Dump and the standard release there. Having them both side by side you can tell that this isn't just a straight repaint of this figure, it is actually a repaint of the Rick Dom release that came shortly after this figure was released. So most notably, you have the movable knees right here, where this figure does not have that. And if we flip them around here, you can see the arms are actually different as well. These have these little uh, armor bits here that are absent here, and these uh, hand ball joints are a little longer. So you do want to be careful of those. So they not only updated the paint on this, but completely updated the sculpt, making it more accurate, which is really nice. So now it is a true Rick Dom. Um, other than that, I mean, the paint looks fantastic. You can see the huge differences between the two. Um, I don't think it's quite as jarring as Char's Rick, or, uh, Char Zaku was. But, I mean, everything here just looks magnificent. Of course, these beam bazookas are really large. It's kind of hard to spin them around uh, in frame here. But I'm very happy to get this upgrade, definitely. So this figure was pretty hard to track down. I had to use a new website called Luna Park and ended up finding it for $73.27. You get the Char's Rickdom completely repainted on the Rickdom sculpt like it was always supposed to be and you get all the extra accessories compared to the original release. You also get new box art which is pretty nice. You can check out the old box art in my Shars Rick Dom review below in the description if you want to if you want to compare the two. Um, but this is definitely the definitive version of Shars Rick Dom. If you find it for a decent price, I would probably suggest picking it up because unless they re-release this, the price is going to continue to go up being how limited the original uh, release time was. I believe they're re-releasing them in the same format uh, one more time but, you know, you never know how much that's going to lower the price. So, this is a very cool version of Char's Rick Dom. Uh, stay tuned next week for the Gundam G3 real marking, which will be really cool. Um, I haven't owned the G3 yet, so that'll be my very first one. So, I can't wait to uh, take a look at that one. Thanks for watching the review. Thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time.